for all your vehicle graphics, retail signage, flyers, business cards, magnetic signs, banners, wallpapers, window graphics and clothing, please contact the Vinyl Guys. Hello, thanks for joining me today. Before we start, this isn't a sponsored video. Uh, what I'm going to be doing today, I've made a pretty significant uh, purchase for in my shed. Uh, I've been saving up for a while and decided that the time was right to uh, sell off all my old equipment. So I sold off my Evolution miter saw and stand uh, and I sold off my Evolution table saw plus a few other little bits and pieces. Uh, to make this one purchase what I think is going to improve my work in a whole. Uh, so I actually purchased a new table saw. But I'm just going to run through a few of the things what led me to getting this table saw. Uh, I had four saws in mind of which I wanted to buy. So I drew a list out of the positives and negatives of each saw. Yeah, the first saw I was going to purchase, what was on top of the list, was the Axminster TS200. Uh, that's a cast iron table, uh, it's 8 inch blade on it, and I think the maximum cut was 50mm. Well, time you put a sled onto that, then you're reducing your depth of cut again. So, plus you have to buy all the extra tables, everything comes as extras with the Axminster range. Uh, although I would love a cast iron top, um, I still need a portable saw to take out and about when I need to take it out with me. So that ruled that one out. Um, the next one what was on the list was the Axminster TS250. Now that was a 10 inch blade saw, same again, it's a cast iron top, uh, but you had to buy the ex added extras what come with it. The extra table, the sliding uh, mitre, mitre gauge so I had to scratch that one off my list now the next saw I was going to purchase was the Bosch GTS 10J again that's a 10 inch saw but it's the uh, it's a sight saw so it's a mobile saw it's the, the saw you can take on and off site and move around easily well I'm saying easily it's still 20 odd kilos in weight but it's a portable saw um, and this was one of the top contenders for the saw that I was I was really considering purchasing um, there wasn't that many reviews on YouTube about the saw but what reviews was there was saying that the fence wasn't accurate and after a while that it jumps out of accuracy and you have to keep checking it for accuracy well, anybody who knows woodworking wants to just crack on with a job, go to your saw, cut your wood and have it accurate every time. So, like I said, that was a, a, one of the top two saws that I was considering getting. The next saw was the DeWalt DW745. Uh, and all the reviews what I read on this saw was absolutely fantastic reviews and I know quite a few of the YouTubers what I watch uh, and who I talk to on Facebook all own this saw and they say you cannot go wrong with it so as you can probably guess by that I actually purchased the DeWalt DW745 uh, the cheapest I found the saw was four, £408.56 and pence. Uh, I purchased this from my tool shed. Uh, I was late in ordering it. I ordered it late on a Friday, uh, and it does say on the website that unless you want next day shipping on a Saturday, then it's an extra charge. But I went for the free shipping, uh, and I actually received it on the Tuesday morning. Uh, I got a delivery time between 10:33 and 11:33. And I think it come about 10.43. So the delivery slot, what they allocated me was accurate. It was on time. But uh, all I'm going to do now is I'm going to unbox the saw. We're going to look at the contents, what you get inside the box. Uh, I'll probably power the saw up today. 
and we'll just check it uh, the 90, the 45, we'll check the fence for accuracy and that's about it for today. I'm not going to do any cutting of wood on it in this review. You'll see plenty of that in the upcoming videos because I want to make uh, a cross cut slide for it. I'm going to make a mitre slide for it. Uh, no doubt I'll be making some sort of a, a stand to, to put it on. Uh, because I didn't buy the stand with it and like I say it's a job site saw so it's a mobile saw as you can carry around and it's going to be a bit, a little, bit, a little bit tight uh, I'm showing you this unboxing because I haven't got the biggest of space in here and the actual box when it come in was slightly bigger than what I anticipated but uh, I'll just measure the box The actual box is 34 inches by 27 inches wide. So, as you can imagine, time I put that on my floor space in the shed, there's not, not a lot of room. So, I'm going to do the best I can to unbox it and show you it being unboxed, and we'll get on from there. <coughs> right, as you can see, though, I've got the box on the floor. It's the DeWalt DW745. Uh, I'll just read you a few things off the box. It's 1850 watt, it's 3800 rpm, uh, you've got a 77 millimeter depth of cut, uh, you can do 45 degree, uh, there's two foot of table available from the blade to the edge of the fence. You've got the built in dust extraction on the back. Um, it's 22 kilos in weight so as you can see the box is all still sealed up it's got the brass pins still in it I'm just going to open the box now right so you get this big piece of cardboard just check it make sure there's nothing in it no, there's nothing in there. This is obviously that's the fence. And then you get the actual saw. I'm just going to move these things out of the way a minute. Get the instruction book. DeWalt 3 year guarantee we'll have a look through that in a bit and you get another box actually inside the saw uh, I don't think there's anything else in there one thing I have noticed with it straight away is the metal gearing for the uh, blade to go up and down and uh, tilting over and my other saw was plastic, I think nylon gearing, so they should be a lot better. Right then, I've just put it on this table a minute now. You get the instruction book, which on there says three year guarantee, uh, registration within four weeks of purchase, DeWalt terms and conditions apply, details at www.dewalt.com dot eu forward slash three so there's the instruction book and then you get the three boxes so I'm just going to open the boxes now and see what you get out of them so in that box you get the riving knife and the dust guard just going to put it back in the packet a minute
when you get the dust reducer what goes on the back of the machine very strong construction that really tough plastic and then you get the mitre gauge for cross cutting that is aluminium and that feels like plastic tough plastic As you can probably hear, I'll try and zoom you in. There's quite a bit of play in that. I won't say there's a lot of play, but probably a mill either side of the slot. But I'm not going to be using that anyway. And then we get the most important bit the fence. As you can see there, that's the fence, the push stick holder on the inside, I'm just looking at that all the way along the mitre slot, the fence is actually in line all the way along. Very easy action to adjust the fence. And there's a little lever on the side that locks the fence in place. And that's solid. That ain't going nowhere. You'll actually move the machine first. And like I say, you've got your little push stick. What slots in around the side? You could use that if you cut a thin stock. And also, when you take it past where the fence is supposed to go, you can rest your, your wood on that and it won't drop through when you're doing a, a wider board. Around the right hand side of the machine, that's where the tools are stored. They're actually held on with a little wing nut. There's an actual hole where the bolt goes through and then another plastic pin around the side to stop the tools rattling about. On the side of the machine here is cord storage so you can wrap the power cord up. Um, so in the machine you get the fence, the mitre gauge, and then you get your riving knife and the blade guard. Right, I'm just going to wind the blade up now. That's it, it's maximum now. And you get 76 millimeters depth of cut. As you can see, the, the machine isn't plugged in. Mine's well, just touching the blade. It's the DeWalt construction uh, DT1158 blade. 
uh, maximum 6000 RPM and it's a 24 tooth blade uh, I'm going to use this blade for a while and I'm going to change it out I think so I'm just going to check the blade for 90 and I'm not, I haven't touched this machine it's straight out of the box I'll just take it off there to show you As you can see, that's straight out of the box at 90 degrees. But one thing I have just noticed is when you look on there, the actual red needle is about half a degree off the zero. So I'll just have to adjust that and put it so it's on the zero. As you can see, it's not bang on where the zero degrees is. I'm just going to tilt the blade over. I'll keep you down here. You unlock this lever, and then I'll do this. Push it over and lock it off. I'll just put it back to zero. It's quite easy to do, you could do it with one hand. Uh, I'll just put this against the fence. Perfectly square there. I'll just lower the blade down a minute. Alright, just show you this fence. Can't see any daylight through though. Just try it at the back end. I think you'd say that was bang on. I'll just try the fence in a different part of the table. So I think you could say that fence is square. Like I said, I've put it on on the edge of the mitre slot. Try and get it as accurate as I can now on the mitre slot. And you can see all the way down. As it's in line with that slot. Very good, very impressed with that. Right, I'm going to go for the first fire up of this machine. As you can see, I'm unplugging the, unwrapping the cord. Quite a decent length cord on it. This is a 240 volt machine. I haven't put the blade guard on, the blade is in the downwards position. Here goes. Some people do say that these saws are very noisy. Uh, that's the first time it's been fired up. I will actually admit that my Evolution saw was a lot louder than this one. Um, you've all seen my Evolution saw in my last few videos. 
but that was a lot louder than what this machine is. Right, as you can see, we've got the blade guard off. Uh, I'm actually going to put the riving knife on. In there, there's a little 13mm bolt. You actually get the spanner with it to do it. You have to slacken the bolt off a little bit and push the bolt in. It's like a spring release bolt. And you slide this bit. I can get a better picture for you though, which I don't think I can. This black piece here, you slide this into there, like so. My arm's going to be in the way now, but there's a bolt. And you push the bolt and slide this all the way down. It's like a spring release. You can't push it in until you actually release the spring and then just tighten it you don't have to go crazy and be King Kong and over tighten it just make sure it's nipped up right then, as you can see I fitted the riving knife and put the cover on, the blade guard cover. Right, that's the end of this unboxing video. I hope you liked what you watched and uh, I didn't bore you too much. But yeah, that's the De DeWalt DW745. Um, like I said, there's going to be a few upcoming projects I'm going to be doing with this. Uh, Might just like crosscut sled and a few other things. So, if you like what you see, Please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, subscribe, click the bell icon in the corner, that'll tell you next time I put a video up. Uh, share the video amongst your friends, the more people want to get on board the merrier. And uh, I'll see you again soon, thank you for watching, have a good day.